Hello and welcome to For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewers' Comments. I'm just going to say a few brief things before we begin. Number one, when you choose to comment on my YouTube channel, there are terms and conditions, there are rules that you must follow. It's my house. I expect you to follow the rules. If you don't, your comment probably will not be published. Also, I ask that you be honorable and graceful, i.e. respectful of everyone here. Please don't go around telling people what they should or shouldn't do. And if you come here making claims, making claims about this or that or the third or something that's happened to you or whatever, having to do with grammar or courts or whatever, you better be able to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge because this is a correct sentence structure channel and I am going to call you to the carpet on it if you start making claims about something that you perhaps don't know what you're talking about. It's very important for the safety of the vessel. If you have closure on correct sentence structure, you should be able to provide that proof like that on the spot. So keep that in mind. The energy you bring here, I will return. I will balance it out with rule one, rule equal. So without further ado, let's get to the comments. First comment comes from AAAA-BK7K2, Nam de Guerre. And they say, Colin David, I feel Colin Miller had done some postal court venues, right? I think they mean venues. Uh, well, that's what he claimed. Didn't he work together with the Attorney General's office in order to get the lawsuits paid out, whatever the amount of money involved? I don't know, uh, AAAA. You'd have to ask Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller. Or you'd have to ask some of the people that got these supposed payouts, because I have no evidence that any payout ever happened. As I said in the video you're commenting on, and I've said multiple times over the last six years, I have never seen, witnessed any solid evidence, any concrete uh, conclusion that saw someone getting paid for using correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar in a postal court. I've never seen anyone get something from someone. The only thing I've ever seen is it stop trespass. Now you can believe all the stories you want from what comes out of people's mouths. That's up to you. But me, I need evidence. I need to see it. If someone claims something, then they have to prove it. Burden of proof's on them. I'm not just going to take their word for it. But I mean, you can, if that's up to you, of course. This is what I understand after watching his famous nine-hour seminar, which I watched numerous times, and still am watching time after time, because Colon Jason provides a little better to understand closures, which lets me understand the seminars of David Wynn Miller a little better. Thank you, Jason Matthew Glass, for the podcast. It's truly a gift to mankind. You're welcome. When people discover your channel, they do not realize they are looking at the pot of gold. You need to train your brain muscles in order to lift this pot of gold knowledge. Greets. Thank you for the kind words there. Again, this is to me, you know, to you and to anyone else out there, it's just a psychological lesson of, yes, we're prone to taking charismatic individuals such as David Wynn Miller at their word. But unless you can certify it, what he claims is not a fact unless you can certify it. If you just take someone at their word, that's an assumption. Unless you know that person. Unless you're, you know, they're in your inner circle, you, you've grown up with them, you've known them for years, and they tell you something, then you're more, you know, likely to be like, okay, yeah, they're telling the truth because I know them. But even though I did speak with Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller on the phone during the last year of his life, and I considered him to be one of my tutors, I didn't know the guy. And I have no proof of the vast majority of claims that he's made. So, it is what it is. Next one comes from Adjective Noun. Fiction language. Adjective Noun. That's weird. It's very sad that you have to explain this type of psyche to people at this stage in life. CSS, CPSG is too much for most people. Most people are window shoppers. They like what they see, but don't like the price you have to pay for it, if you know what I mean. 
Don't cast pearls before the swine. Cheers. Cheers, comma. I like the way the learner 1000 puts cheers, comma, at the bottom and then nothing. <laughs> like, I say, oh, someone puts that, then they're going to put their correct name down there. And I'm going to know who the learner 1000 is. But no, they didn't. So, um, don't cast for pearls before the swine. That's, you know, some advice you can, you can use. Uh, has nothing to do with me. Uh, my pearls are out there for anyone that wants to pick them up on this YouTube channel. Over 800 of them. So, don't let anyone ever tell you that the knowledge is not available for free. Because it is. Next one comes from YouTuber IS. YouTuber is. And they say, bastardized dictionary. Like mentioned in the movie, The Professor and the Madman, word gives life and words can kill. The only thing, I mean, as far as human beings go, that can bring life into this domain are mothers. And words cannot kill. I've never seen a word kill anyone. Humans can kill. Words. Words are just words. How you choose to receive them and cognize them is completely up to you. <laughs> That's the part that uh, I think that you're inferring. But words are just words. Just like guns are just guns. Swords are just swords. Knives are just knives. Cars are just cars. Alcohol is just alcohol. Is what you do with it. That's up to you. Choosing wisely is the start of a good progress. Well, yes, consideration is of utmost importance. It's far more important than the substance. <laughs> or vice versa. Well, it's rule one, rule equal. It depends upon what substances you want to use to create the form. If you want to use rotten, nasty substances, then you're going to get a rotten, nasty form. Next comment comes from Sailing Kelpie 66 And they say, unfortunately, the authority is given by us with our consent, so we should never consent since we are living beings or beings of infinite light all equally. Well, we are living beings, but as far as beings of infinite light, not so sure about that. You'd have to show me some evidence of that. This is a cup of coffee. Well, let's just say this is a cup. Because I can't show you the coffee. But I can show you that this is a cup. Okay, show me human beings as beings of infinite light. The same way I just showed you a cup. So, one thing Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller once told me was, never refuse anything. What you need to do when using correct sentence structure, communication, policy, syntax, grammar is never refuse, but always offer to do things correctly and invite others in to that correctness, that geometric level playing field. That's the way to be the most successful with this. Now, of course, there are going to come times when you have to put your foot down. And you do have to say no. But for the most part, it's always best to not refuse because once you start refusing, then it becomes a battle of force. And there are much more effective ways to do things in certain scenarios than force. Because with correct sentence structure, you can't force anyone to do anything against their will. Because that would be wrong. That would not be correct. The fiction forces people to do things against their will. The best route for success is peace, peace and neutrality and offering to do things with correctness. 
Now, when that doesn't work, then you got to do what you got to do if it doesn't work. But most times it works. 9.9 .9 times out of 10 it works if you know the grammar and you know what you're doing. I said, uh, those who few and choose not to click the thumbs up, I see you. Oh, that was because, uh, I, can't, I forget which video it was, but I did a video and it had like, hypothetically, by the end of 24 hours, I think it had like about 80 views and it had like two thumbs up. And then YouTuber is said, clicking on, clicking like on a video, this automatically creates a liked playlist. Therefore, I can't have all your videos in that playlist. I want this playlist as a memory refresh review of important videos only. I think that's a compliment. And if it is, then thank you. Here's the thing. YouTubers, YouTube allows you to create playlists on your channel, multiple playlists, and clicking like on a video is one way to support this channel and get the algorithm out there and get it higher up in the in the feeds, suggested videos and things like that. But hey, if you don't want to help out with that, that's your choice. Thanks for the comment. Next one comes from For the Dharma, and they say, Dear Jason, it's Eric Fuertes. Thank you very much for using your correct name, Eric. I've got some concerns about the number one used as a fact that most probably you have dig into, but I'm not finding it in your videos. For example, A or AN is used most of the time as a non-tangible word, being a synonym for one while all numbers are considered as fact-based. Um, I'm not sure A is a synonym for one, or N is a synonym for one, but, I mean, technically, but you, you, you could say that. I can see where you're coming from on that, especially if English is not your first language. On the other side, I realize that it is the only number starting with one vowel, as well as 11, in the languages I know. Thinking on the cause, there comes to my mind the duality of everything, so one by itself wouldn't be able to exist. How so? I don't, uh, I don't get that one. Would you give your closure on this topic? Many thanks in advance, and much more for all the labor you share. You're very welcome. That's a very thoughtful comment. And I did uh, give Cooley on it to that. And I gave them a hint. I said, yes, the closure is on my channel. You just haven't found it yet. And I gave them a hint. And I wrote out full colon rule hyphen one forward slash rule hyphen equal period. And I spelled one O-E-N. And I spelled equal A-E-Q-U-A-L. I've done salvages on both of those particles. Those are open source. I'm hoping that Eric found that on his own, though, rather than having me, you know, reading, watching this video and having me give him the answer. It's there. Um, so, happy hunting. Now I'm going to show you an email that I got from someone that uh, you may recall, you may remember, I kind of went back and forth with them in the comments on one of my other videos and they were talking all this mess about putting accepted for value on their birth certificate or something or on their live life claim or whatever it was they were doing and putting I am on the back of it and they asked me I think they asked me what's the difference between what I did with my live life, live life claim and what you did with yours and I said well I used correct grammar and then they responded back besides that <laughs> I have to think this is that same person and they said hi there mate it's Rachel got a quick question about bill of exchange I watched David Wynn Miller videos on becoming a postmaster and my search led me to you because you're in the US long story short I want to do a bill of the right way because I know there's a right way as opposed to what the left way <laughs> the left hand way attach is not a real birth certificate, but pretend it is one. Is this the right way to do a bill of exchange? 
Well, my question to this individual is, what the hell does that have to do with the grammar? And why are you contacting me about things like this when I'm just a grammar tutor? I teach correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. People send me stuff like this, and then I correspond back, asking them for their correct name, telling them that I don't give legal lawful advice, do they want a consultation, do they want to learn the grammar, and then people like this just ignore what I write back and just carry on with their questions as if they're not listening, they're just in an echo chamber. And then people like this get blocked. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.